again and long answer question one question will be given seven marks and total it will be 15 let us see once again very short answer questions two questions will be given two into two four marks short answer questions one into four four marks long answer questions one into seven seven marks total 15 if you look at old papers intermediate examination old papers there is this particular pattern that uh, they are following that they are following a particular pattern so we can almost predict the questions that are important or that are coming in the examination for very short answer questions i i just tell you the important topics generally circle equation tangent equation and small things like that they will be given in very short answer questions whereas in short answer questions tangent condition and equation of a circle with a little bit harder conditions and in seven mass question it's always equation of circle passing through three points that is what the examination pattern is the important topics are now let me tell you the important ideas you should master i'll just tell you important ideas are important concepts important concepts to follow to remember one is circle equation you please in various forms circle equation in various forms this is first one second one is tangent and condition tangent equation and condition equation and condition and let us take the third important equation of circle equation of circle passing through three points circle passing through three points these are the main ideas now let us work out some of the intermediate problems some of the examination problems first let me take up very short answer questions each question takes two marks and let me work out nearly 20 to 25 questions on this let us take one by one the important questions in very short answer this thing let me write the question and explain you please be ready the first question is find the equation of circle find the equation of circle equation of circle whose ends of the diameter ends of the diameter are 2 3 and minus 3 1 please remember rather than knowing the question it's important how do you answer it the important is how do you answer it these are very short answer questions let me keep the heading very short answer questions this is my first question in very short answer questions let me see how do you answer it please now once if this is x1 y1 and this is x2 y2 you know when diameter ends are x1 y1 and x2 y2 the equation of the circle is x minus x1 into x minus x2 plus y minus y1 into y minus y2 is 0 this is equation of the circle when diameter ends are given x1 y1 is given x2 y2 is given let us put them my x1 is 2 so the equation is x minus 2 into x plus 3 because this is minus 3 be careful minus of minus 3 is plus 3 y minus y1 y1 is 3 and y minus 2 y minus y2 is 0 now this if you simplify x square plus y square from here i am writing y square and here 3x minus 2x plus x and here minus 3y minus y minus 4y here minus 6 is the constant there plus 3 is the constant so minus 2 is the final constant here 3 into minus 2 minus 6 here minus 3 into minus 1 plus 3 plus 3 minus 6 so i am sorry this is minus 3 this is the equation of the circle in the final and you see this is in the general form ax square plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 let us see the question once again find the equation of the circle whose ends of the diameter are 2 3 and minus 3 1 x1 y1 x2 y2 are the given points now just use the equation of the circle when diameter ends are given x minus x1 x minus x2 plus y minus y1 into y minus y2 is 0 just putting the points you get the answer this is first question let me take up second question 
the second question here is find the let me write find the area formed by the tangent drawn to the circle x square plus y square is equal to a square yet x1 y1 on it with coordinate axis with coordinate axis please look at the question i read the question again find the area formed by the tangent drawn to the circle x square plus y square is equal to a square at x1 y1 on it with coordinate axis if you don't understand the concept let me show you what he is asking a circle is given and there is a tangent let me show you the figure clearly once again please let us understand the question find the equation of the now please this is the actual situation this is the circle given and this is a point x1 y1 on it and let us draw it and this is the tangent it is cutting at ab oab we want the area of the triangle oab this is a very short answer question you should not write it more than uh, two three steps now let us see tangent equation is tangent equation is we know tangent equation is s1 is equal to 0 this is a very important thing so let me highlight this s1 is equal to 0 is the tangent equation okay now our point is x1 y1 the circle is given as x square plus y square is equal to a square and the point given is x1 y1 no, so writing s1 is the tangent equation is xx1 plus yy1 minus a square is equal to 0 this is the equation of tangent this is the equation of tangent look at this xx1 plus yy1 minus a square is equal to 0 is the equation of the tangent drawn at x1 y1 it is cutting xx at a yx at b and we want the triangle area oab so if any line ax plus by plus c is given the area it makes with coordinate x is c square by 2ab if a line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 is given the area it makes with coordinate axis the area of the triangle it makes with coordinate axis is c square by 2ab so here our c is a power 4 2ab 2 into x1 into y1 this is the answer so please look at this first i have written the equation of tangent after that i got the equation of the line from straight lines the area of the triangle formed is c square by 2ab so i have just taken it and simply c in the place of c we have minus a square its whole square is a power 4 2ab 2x1 y1 that's it this is our second very short answer question let me take up the third question we are going to work out all the models so that you get a clear idea about the examination so let me take up the third question find the point of contact find the point of contact of the line 3x plus 4y minus 5 is equal to 0 with the circle x square plus y square minus 5 is equal to 0 look at this please please look at this this is a tangent to this circle this is my third bisect this is a tangent to the circle we have to find where it is the tangent where it is the tangent so let me just take it clearly i don't know the point of contact so let me call the point of contact is point of contact is x1 y1 let me call like this then tangent is is xx1 plus yy1 minus 5 is 0 but given tangent is given tangent is 3x plus 4y minus 5 is equal to 0 comparing the coefficients x1 here x coefficient is x1 here it is 3 here it is y1 it is 4 minus 5 by 5 is 1 therefore the point of contact is 3 comma 4 so third very short answer question third question is please look at this find the point this is a very important model okay
ఈ రోజు ఎపిసోడ్ లో సర్కిల్ టాపిక్ కు సంబంధించి వెరీ షార్ట్ ఆన్సర్ క్వశ్చన్స్ మరియు బేసిక్ అండ్ అడ్వాన్స్ టాపిక్స్ గురించి తెలుసుకున్నాం కదా తిరిగి రేపటి ఎపిసోడ్ లో మరికొన్ని వెరీ షార్ట్ ఆన్సర్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఎలా సాల్వ్ చేయాలో తెలుసుకుందాం మరి ఈ కార్యక్రమంపై మీ సందేహాలను సలహాలను అభిప్రాయాలను ఈ క్లాసెస్ ఎట్ ది రేట్ ఆఫ్ కేఏబీ టీవీ డాట్ నెట్ కు పంపగలరు 